Doolittle Patrol, Season 1, Episode 2, Donkey Patrol. Mr. Nobody, this is a story about four couch potatoes. And oh my God, I should be, be drinking for this. This bag of ham is Cliff Steele, a eco-centric racing champion who drove his family under a jackknife trailer. Yikes, now his brain is all that's left housed inside a robot by the man, this man, Niles Kodler, director of action. Mr. Nobody, Rita Fire was a star of silver screen. The mysterious liquid changed her to a terrifying blob, forcing her hide from common society, yelling, Larry Taylor, hot shot pilot, perfect life, perfect wife, had a hidden secret, mixing cosmic radiation, the worst sunburn you've ever seen, a voila, an energy living being, being living inside a man. Uh, it's funny, Jane, 64, with per, individual person, personnels, with unique superpowers, each one just, oh, so precious. Which one of you motherfuckers wants me to jerk a knot in your in your arse? Cliff, fuck me, Mr. Nobby. One day when you clowns jumped in their clown car, Driven in a clown town and three week circus broke out. The only thing this sideshow needs is a trained donkey, which brings us to me. I had a Nazi turn me into a Nubit cube, manifesting my desire for chaos to the flatulent beasts, and set the Titani town to self destruct. All caught up? Good. Let the pretentious title sequence begin. People screaming, tires screeching. It's Scurril. Now, Comes their reckoning. They lash their whips at you, dear Lord, and now they'll be lashed with eternal flame. I have been, been faithful until death. Clown me and let me be seated on your most holy side. Yes, I am ready, Father, to lead you, screams. Cliff, what the fuck? Mr. Nodley, welcome back to the sit show, everyone. Where are we? Man screaming. Larry, no. Mr. Nobody, oh yeah, I've just opened my big fat hole. Round cracks. Alas, our merry men and miffits were not equipped to gr- grain house of heroism just yet. It was just that was a finesse that dear old daddy hadn't bothered to teach them. Man screaming, Mr. Dirty laughing. Who are you talking to? Grant Mitt Morrison fans, Reddit trolls from DC subscripts, and the three new fans who stuck around of the donkey cart. You still think you'll control this story, don't you? Have you seen any evidence to the contrary, old friend? To wit, you slipped through my fingers for the last time. Larry, no. It's the chef, chief, screaming and grunting, screaming. No, Cliff, Jane, Jane, don't do it. Wait, no, don't do it. No, Jane, what are you doing? No, no, Jane, Jane, no, no. Cliff, holy shit, explosion, craft, Cliff, grass, holy shit, grass, holy shit. We got. We get the point. We all saw it. There's no need to really state the obvious. Cliff, I'm sorry. I'm. A, am I a, reacting too much for you, Rita? I didn't see. I just don't see how hysterics are going to help. Cliff, one. I don't get hysterical. Two. What are you going to do? What are you doing to help me? Well, nothing. Look, it's going to be fine. She disappears all the time. Cliff into a fucking hole in the fucking ground. Read him, well, don't get snippy with me. I know Niles called a long time, and no wonder. And no matter how long he's gone, he can always come back. Cliff, what about Jane? What about the town? Jane can take care of herself, believe me. She even know what to do about the town when he gets back. Cliff, so denial beats hysteria. You're ignoring the part when Chief, the enemies are coming for him. Actually, they you ignore the part when you insisted on staying behind to what? Protect some townies? Punch some bad guys? We couldn't be miles from here by now. Cliff, but you're not. You turned the bus around for me. Jane turned around the bus for, around for you. I went along with it for a moment of temporary insanity. Cliff, so sue me for wanting to do the right thing. What does that mean? And does that right thing? What does that right thing look like now? Look around, Cliff. You can't punch nothing. Cliff, someone is responsible for this. Larry, we are. Everything's happened as, exactly as it's supposed to. This is what the world looks like when you try to live in it. Niles warned us. 
and proved himself right. We'll be well served to take the chief's advice from now on. Cliff, are you kidding me? You've got to run away? Larry is far away from here as possible, Cliff. Where are you, where are you going? It's Tuesday, trash day. Cliff, so it, so that's it. I'm going this, doing, going this alone. What do you expect, Cliff? We're not heroes. Explosion, Patty. Give me a sec. Tim, make it quick. Keypad bleeping, bleeping. Paddy grass, key belt, pad bleeps. What is taking so long? Uh, it's, um, it wants to talk to you, keypad bleeping. What is it? What is this shit? Ammonarius. Whoa, whoa, bell, voice and TV cracks, man. You just upgraded this mitten here to felony. Bone cracks, crimes, with Patty whispering. Hey, Mel Voice and ATM. Psst. It's me. You want bow cars? Screams, grunts, groans. Cops on the way. Your cyborg goths, scoffs. You can call me Vic. Later chatter and laughter. Device trilling, phone ringing. Hey, Dad. Just a learning system for analysis. Nothing to bring you brief. Some simple mugging. Oh, thank God. Got. Garford Cyborg, you say the whole six hundred dollars of the possible vic- uh, possible victim murder victim. He saw the mugger's face. This is a second location. There wasn't going to be a third. So you spent fifty seven seconds messing the perps instead of disarming them. Can we just fast forward to your conclusion? Okay, okay, we're a bit better. Size, do better, copy that you like. We're gonna eat. And even in privacy mode until further notice, copy that. Man one, whoa, what's up, man? It's chatter, grill, grid, pull, pull up crime blotters, too small, go deeper, search AR, just feed, horrible, destructive, chaotic. Just a few of the words locals used to describe what they saw. Frank, uh, hey Jim, I am, um, I know you sent us here to investigate an attack, but there's nothing here. A town, town's gone. Jim, god damn it, Frank. Frank, should I just rub it off? Jim, yeah. We'll call it water contamination or gas leak or some shit. I'll add it to the iron farm black log. What's the name of the town again? Frank Cloverton. Cloverton, I ho ho. So what have you got planned for the rest of the day? After you fix my eye, there's no after Vic. Improving your program is a full-time job. Finally, talk hisses. No, Vic laughs. Good God, have you grown another inch since I last saw you? Plus, the cybernetics froze his growth of the accident. You haven't changed a bit. How the hell are you, Silas? Impatient. We, we said 10.30 in our size. You know, the astronomers of Akamar couldn't figure out why I was so interested in their glass. And the Chinese, they wouldn't even let me into the yeoman. So I had to, to crib my lensing technique from an ex old Burmese engineer. So I. Just a regular day in the office. Well, the exercise keeps me young. And was it worth it? How is a circus in Cleverton? Cleverton. Now it keeps me busy and working with some fascinating people. Each one is just bursting potential. Like you, Vic. Put us some part of the great, sort of great. Joint blob, run amok. People screaming, humble, which disruptive, chaotic. Woman, fucking bitch. Give up your, give up your money or die. Sighs, Larry, excuse me, can I help you? What's, that, that, what's the single most b- remote part I can get for the next bus? Isamar, Montana. Oh, a great sky country. Larry, great. I've been wanting to work on my tan. That was a joke meant to, to make you feel more comfortable with my appearance. Machine whirling, paper tearing, horn hunks, groans. You okay, mister? You got hit by some kind of firework. Larry got a second thoughts. Let's try somewhere else, honk. On honks? No, don't you dare, you little grunts, grass. Mama, mama, the mama's walled. Wake. Memories awake, Jenkins. Great brewery. Electricity creaking, crows. Can crows feel nice? Great tubbing. Electrical crackling, groans, electrical cracking, yelps. Electrical crackling, groans. Does it really even matter? Electrical cracking, groans in frustration, you son of a bitch. What do you want from me? People yelp. I'm trying to protect people from you, from you. Let me go, let me go. Panting, pat, gruff, cliff, but runs. Here, donkey, donkey. Hey, boy, come here. Hold still, don't know, donkey. Yee-haw. Fuck. Wait, wait up, donkey, baying. Donkey, son of a... Groans in frustration. Come here. Here, come over, you jackass. 
God damn it. Brain the size of a fucking woman. Fucking ass. Hey, I won't. I'm talking to you. You can run all you want, stupid doggy. I don't get tired. Looking for this? Cliff, who are you? Vic Stone. Some people call me Cyborg. Here to help. Cliff, nice eye. You're in my way. What's with the donkey? It sent us a message. Been chasing this flea bag all morning. Some sort of full of some kind of secrets or some shit. So what is you? Your pal's messing up that diner. Will I explain how you managed to liberate the whole rest of the town? Oh, Cyborg. A guy who nobody asked to be here. He pokes his nose in business that does isn't his. Hi, man. You're just one of the one Nazi stra- now strays. You know the chief? I do. Why didn't you say you knew the chief? Because watching you trying to be effective. You're real distractive. Distracting. Where is he? He's gone. Ground opened up. Swallowed him and hold town. Our housemate Jane tried to save him, but she's now now she's gone too. Sorry. I just need a second to to just do Oh no. Go ahead, yeah. Get this straight, size. How does a band of circle freaks manage to screw up so badly that they lose their leader and the whole entire ta- town same damn time? Cliff. Hey, Monday morning, QB. Didn't feel good about it either. Do you see who made the hole? Cliff has too busy not being swallowed by it. Where is the hole now? It swallowed itself. Do you see anything useful? Cliff, yes, damn it, damn it, the donkey. What's the donkey got to do with it? Cliff, that's what I'm trying to figure out, asshole. Bays and wrenches. Take it, take it. That's Jane, size, dial open, Larry. I'm just uh, buying some... Um, I don't know what I'm doing. I thought you left. Very sad. I ran from you. You know when you were, when you, you know, in Cloverton. Mm, you needed us. Me? Very sad. I ran away because I controlled the thing inside me. I won't run away. Run from. I would run from me too. We run for me right now. I would. Chuckles. I don't have to get involved, especially if we make. Especially if we make things worse. Clear if we got a live one. Door opens, Jane. What happened? Cliff, the donkey's batter out. What? Cliff, the donkey's batter out. You know, when he says it, says it twice like that. It really sounds, don't really does sound crazy. Name Vic Cyborg from Detroit. So you're some sort of big city hero. Didn't say that. Heroes never do. See? We don't need to get involved. Laughter. Niles laughing. Vic panting, grunting and pain, sighs loudly. Whoa. Get some wheels here that way, Grandpa. So how did you break your eye anyway, Vic? Catching bank robbers, busting gangs, chuckles, protecting and serving. Don't think I've got a real shot of the Justice League in almost five, about five years. Maybe sooner if I stay on top of my training. Niles, is that so? How about you, old man? How come you're not in the game? Who says I'm not? Dad says you're more of a social worker these days. You know, taking in those strays, putting them back together. Yeah, well, not all battles are won, the front line, Vic. You know, you should come out of Cloverton sometime. See for yourself. I have room for you. There are people there you might find far more interesting in your street level folks. Or oh, you got plans, Dad's playing plans? Sobbing. Jane, Cliff, Jane, I know you've been through a lot, but I really would need to know what happened to Cliff. Chief. Jane, faint shuffling. And Sylvia, Jane isn't here now. Graphs, dead in his arms, 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 dead in his arms. Is he saying Niles is dead? Cliff, Jane, did you see the thief? See other dead in his arms. Cliff, Jane, scoffs as Hammerhead. You don't care about the chief. You just want to blame him for keeping you away from your daughter. You fuck, you fucked up. What is he talking about? Cliff, shut up, screaming. Jane, stop, 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 Jane. Don't fucking touch me, as Scarlet Harlot. Oh, please touch me. Please touch me, Moly. Samhead, you sackless Judas. You, what did you, what did you screw the granny, Daddy, while you baby girls in the other goddamn room? You filthy, stifled stutter. As print, print, penny farming, dead in your arms, dead in his arms. That is penny for your thoughts, oh dear. Cheerio. Graf sighs in relief. As Hamhead, what are you two shit for brains looking at? Okay, Cliff, can I talk to you a minute? Bars Rosemary. Okay, huh? How does she work exactly, Cliff? 
What? She's not a fucking machine. I have no idea. You have to ask the chief. Gladly, we cleared that up. Jane, Cliff, I wouldn't. Grass, as baby doll. Oh my gosh. I know who you are. You're cyborg. David Bowles squeals. Cliff, of course he does. In the fish. And you are? Oh, baby doll, huh? I'm your biggest fan, Grass. Whoa. You're so cool. Why are you calling the Flash? Chuckles. You want to know a secret? Whispers. You're not even that fast. Giggles. Vic. Don't tell anyone, buddy. Giggles. What is that thing? That's Cliff. Is he scaring you? Cliff, really, buddy? It's so ugly. I don't want it here. The make it leave. Cliff, Jane, make it leave. Don't worry, I've got this. Cliff imitates mockingly. Don't worry, I've got this. Podcast, robot, tweed. I don't really know anything about Jane, really? Really? All right, let's do this. VCR recorder clicking, whirling, static. Tape clicking, gnarls on tape. Jane, size. Jane, can we talk? Jane, it's time to come down. Thud. Stuck it in the TV. Jane, I wasn't shop looking. I just wanted to try things, some things on. That's all. Everything I have is is old. And that's why why Kathy came out. Kathy knew I never met Kathy before. Jane, she doesn't come out very often. No, it was the last time we talked. You said you wanted to stay here more. Have more, more of a home. Jane, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Some we do and some we don't. Now as well, I like that. But before you, that can happen, I need to understand who else has been living with us. How many of us are you? There. Snuffles. The underground is vast. Niles, I'm sorry. The underground is vast. Niles, the underground is vast. You mentioned it before. Can you draw me a picture of it? Jane, I don't know. Do you, Niles, do you think the hangman's daughter could draw it? I mean, just a simple sketch to help me understand. Jane sighs, just a sketch. Now, is everything okay? Giggling. Oh, giggling. Kittens meowing, chuckles lightly. Hey, hey, baby doll. I was wondering, uh, do you think we could talk about the chief? Giggling. It really meant a lot. It would mean really a lot to me if you told me what happened. What do you, what do you saw when you went? When you, you went away? No, I can't tell you that, silly. Why not? You don't understand, Nas and Tate. Jane, I want to know this. It's hard, but it's important. Can you at least tell me? Where does Kathy live in the underground? Jane, I don't know. Hope Cliff had his shit. Nas, could you draw it for me? Jane, I don't know. Nas, can you don't talk to her? Jane, not to Katie. The one like Katie, they keep to themselves. Big baby doll, I know I need you to focus. Nas, meant a lot to me. I know you meant a lot to you too. Cliff told me you drove after him. No, mm, no, I didn't. Baby, no, no one's going to be mad at you. Just tell me what you saw. Didn't see anything. Someone else did. Vic, who? Who saw something? Baby, doll, no, Kathy. Kathy saw something. Kathy saw something. Vic. Yeah, Kathy. Okay. Well, let's let's talk to the Kathy. How I? Does Kathy stay so deep in the underground? Because she doesn't like to be interrogated. Cliff, shit. Nobody wants to talk to Kathy. Vic, I don't. I want to. Chuckle softly. I love to talk to Kathy. Kiff, shit, 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 shit. Whoa, Kathy. I'm just trying to help. Kathy screeches, not giving me my choice here. Elevators, dings, grunts. What does, what gives, man? Cliff, don't hurt her. She's still Jane. Actually, the name's Lucas, Lucy Fogo. And I'm the, I'm you're the one who wanted to fight. Cliff, Jane, both groaning. Jane, oh, hammerhead, it's me. Hammerhead, I don't know who you are, shitbag. This screams music playing on speakers. Care to join me outside? Why? Cliff screams, crashing. I could use some hair. Use some hair. Cliff grunting and groaning. The silver tongue. Fuck you and you, you piece of shit. Cliff, oh no. Oh, oh, come on, stop. You're so fat. Cliff, what? Shit. Hey, Jane, stop it. Come, come out, Jane. Are you in there? Are you in the underground? What do you know about the underground? Cliff, not a lot. And the chief is trying to help you. Maybe, maybe I can help you too. Grunts, Vic. We're on time, baby. Cliff, I had to. I had that. If the word fat and landed an inch to the left, it'd be your brain. Cliff, back off, kid. Kid, I just saved your rusty ass. You're even more stupid than you look, Larry. I can't get it out of my head. Now, how does Jane go into a hole? 
the ground and come out come out of the donkey. Reader, oh God, doesn't don't get us involved. I thought we were on the same page here. The other ones who not don't do anything. But Rita, what if what well, the donkey's a door? Vic, what well, and that's what I was wondering. Hmm, my scan is perfectly normal donkey. Thank God that solved mint Jupiter's. Somebody's gonna step out of science for this time for that me. Someone's gonna step out of the science of this for me. Is there any science? What science here? Dimensions, well knows. Other buzzwords are two theoretical physics books written in the fifties. Not that I care, but can't that thing inside you tear a hole into another dimension, Larry sighs. How should I know? It's being it's a being pure energy. Even if it knows something about the other dimension, I don't. We do not communicate. Vic, holy crap. What is it? The thing's throat is a keyhole. The donkey is a door. Oh, God. To what? Wherever Jane went. Where the cliff is that still is. Where on a tired town is still trapped on a perfectly normal donkey. Oh, it's a perfectly normal donkey. Okay. Let's get to take a look inside. I can't get in here. There. Oh, no, no. Under no circumstances, Rita. I've seen what you can do with your body. No, you see what happens to my body when it gets, it gets stressed out. And do you know what's stressing me out right now? The idea of showing my, feathering my face down a slimy throat to these animal. Is that funny to you? Does my elimination get your blood pumping? I'd like to know what you're picturing right now. Are you going to shove it down me in a sack, huh? Trash bag? Cut a little hole so you can squeeze me into that slippiest piece, a tube of post toothpaste. Push my eye into the funnel. And force me into the bowels of Bane's shit factory without in my consent. Would that work? I am a Golden Globe and nominee, door closes. Treat me like some carnival grotesque. I was a lead and Cupid knocks twice, thrice. Give me, tell me she's given, given up. Tell me she, she's given up something about, about Chief, Tony's or whatever. Cliff, see for yourself. I think she's getting worse. You're right, Rita. I no clue how to fix this. I'm fucking powerless. Oh, for the love of God, I need a trash bag. Whether the weather be cold or whether the weather be hot, whether the weather be cold. Vic, what is she doing? No size. Don't know. We didn't know. She needs to emote to, or, to emote in order to blob. Whether the weather is be hot, let's have some ground rules. One, during the entire ordeal, nobody's allowed to look at me. Two, when I'm in the bag, you really squeeze me as I, as I ask to be squeezed. Free, when I see whatever is discussing here, you immediately pull me out and I never speak of this again. Code of silence, sighs, squelching. Reader, oh, 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 oh my God, it's slimy, it stinks, Larry. Just, if I, if I vomit, I have no choice but to choke on it. Rita, stop talking, I'm almost in. Oh my, it's beautiful. Rita, what do you see? Right, Larry, oh, problem. Rita, you're slipping. Rita, they're in here. They're all in here. Rita, Rick, Rita, Rita, oh God. Rita, Rita, Rita screams. Rick grunts. Baby, but donkey bays. Oh no, Larry, what? What's go? We're going in, both yelling. Vic, help me out here. I'm inside a donkey or what, Larry? The question is, how are we going outside the donkey? Oh my God, it's Cleverton. No way out but forward. Is it playing with headphones? Mr. Nobody, bonjour, bonjour, service. Speaks in a foreign language. No, 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 my hand in my yay, and welcome. A little too soon to go up when up your own arse. But hey, here we go. Chucking, yes, it's me, your full time narrator, part time chief adductor. You're here for the tour. Well, whether you like it or not. First up, the Cleverton Gallery. Small town, America, deeply constructed. Bored of any of your pretension yet? Next in the centre of the gallery, our newest in the director of the exhibit. These three meat puppets will be performing a reenactment to their search for their fearless leader. Larry, oh, is he talking about us? Mr. Murder, you're out to fly by ours, having desperately, hoping desperately that the society world would take charge. This is crazy. Mr. Nobody, Psycho exclaimed, as if even, as he needed to be said. We didn't open the mouth, even though she had nothing to contribute. A trio continued onward, eager for the exclusive look at what the chief was up to as at this very moment. A trio continued onward. Cliff squeaking, laughed, Daddy. I got it, I got it, no crust. Imitates Clara. Crusts are gross. Don't make me eat them. 
No question. Oh, fuck me. I'm special. Questions PB and T train rules. A baby doll. Oh, wow. Thanks. Fate shuffling as hammerhead. Too bad for you that us are glutton free. Twelve of us are allergic to peanut butter. Another of us are your fucking daughter. As you they approach the canvas, it's emotion stirred. Nostalgia lost fertility. Bell wings and sink conversations. This isn't real. Directly, of course it's not. It's Hollywood, baby. It's the nobody. Who's to say that what's real anyway? Read his heart, something's part. Do you hear that voice? Ah, you want to, you're right, Rita. Jeez. I've got, got nothing. I've got, don't, got to do nothing. You're gorgeous. Your skin is just glowing. I mean, you're radiant. I was jealous of you. What's your secret? There's no desire. An old first. You're going to feel how right this was. Dream or not, this is her set. She was the star. Damn right on the star. There's nobody knew it. Very knew this wasn't really happening. How could it be? But here he was, soaring like a phoenix. Is it possible? This is, this is nobody. He grabbed a stick. He breathed heavily. Driven by instinct of a seasoned pilot. And though lay dormant for far too long, Larry grabbed a stick. For Christ's sake, engine wells, alarming, beeping, grunting. Is this isn't real, Mr. Dunby? Tell that to your adrenaline. Grab that stick. You know you want to. Rallying. You know you have to. Grunting, rumbling. Mr. Dunby, yes. A hot shot test pilot back. Woo, laughs. Mr. Dunby. It says, hi, Bill. It isn't, this wasn't his first radio. It would be so easy seducted by self adorned fancies. Which is great because if you feed me up to straight, Skip straight to the torture, right, Victor? You bastard. Groaning pain, panting, groan, grunting. Mr. Nobody, young Victor's pain was intense. It's all he could do not to shit himself to death. Right there on a stone family yard, screw you. Mr. Nobody, there's nothing compared to the pain he felt when he remembered his mum was with him when the explosion happened. Vic, no, no, this is not real. Who are you? Mr. Nobody, you'll find out soon. At the moment, I'm interested in much more complex question, Victor. Lady, who are you? Self humming, continuous humming. Jane and Penny Felmy. Then his arms, then his arms, a penny. Cliff, great stuff, Jane. Or oh, whatever, whatever. I know you don't want to talk, but I have some questions I've got to ask. Why did you turn that bus around for me? I don't, I don't, I don't deserve that. Just found out my daughter's alive, and all I can think about how shifty you was. Pity and my last memories of me must be so much chief for keeping him away from me. But the truth is, I don't deserve to see him. So what's the point of hurting you just to find chief? I just want to, didn't want to cause you even more pain. I never know what kind of trauma makes a girl split herself apart so many times, squeaking. We have, don't have to talk about the underground or your life, anything. Just, I just want to feel you to feel safe, Jane. Would you make me another sandwich? Cliff, yeah. Director and action. Mr. Lowen and Burgundy. Like, riding on bicycle, Rita knew how to hit her marks. Find a light, sell the drama. This is it. This is her Oscar moment. In a southern accent. But I never had no mama. So I, really knew, I never knew what the boys could be so mean, so cruel. Sobs. And now this baby's going to grow up and not knowing her daddy. Mr. Dobby, in other words, Rita's an idiot, and I see her daddy in her little eyes, and I resent her. Something, I resent her sweet angel face, Mr. Dobby. I mean, she knows there's a trap, and still she plays along in normal tone. What else am I supposed to do? Cut. No wait, ready to grasp, Mr. Dobby. A declaration. Still, she clings on to her faded glory. Whatever you can, you can shut the fuck up. You don't know me. Mr. Nobody, ah, oh, but I do read a fair. I know the whole story, baby crying. I know all your stories. I know what drove you into the sky over and over again, Larry. I oh, wanted to be a hero, Mr. Nobody. A hero or a hypocrite? Because that's what you really are. You don't really, you don't know me. Mr. Nobody, oh, really? I know flying is just another word for fleeing. Just ask your wife. Larry, when are you coming home? The boy's Mr. D- Daddy. I wasn't running away from my family. Mr. Dobby, right. You're running from your family, your lover. I don't know. And I don't, I don't have to be the one. You didn't, I, don't, I don't have to be the one to you choose. Chose, but you have to make a choice. Mr. Nobody, but you couldn't even do that. Could you, Larry? Instead, you just stayed the course. 
the suckers who loved you the most paid a price, screams and screams. Larry, Larry, alarm, bleeping, Mr. Lovey. And how do you call yourself a hero when your mother died in a lab accident? You cause, don't get it. You keep, you think, force me to live this is torture? I relive this every time I go to sleep. I relive this when I close my eyes. You may know who I am, but you don't know shit about me. If you did, you know that the criminal, a bus, every criminal bus, every person I save is me fulfilling a pledge to my mum who never going to get to hear, trying to, to make me proud. No other reason she's not around to see it. That's my burden. That's what it means to be cyborg. Mr. Nobody. What an original story. Wow, too bad. It's a load of full donkey shit. What that's supposed to mean? Hey, Miss Nubby, you're wrong. Baby crying. So wrong, no doubt, the narrator. I mean, I, the narrator. Think about that. I exist outside of the time and space. Baby continues crying. I know your past, present, and future. Please, don't do this to me, Miss Nubby. I know what you did. What? You are willing to do. So I don't, I, if you don't want your sad, sympathetic, unabusive life to set in front of the world, stop looking for Noel Chandler. Are you make the stone? You're the most tragic one of all, Grass. You don't even have memories. You're uh, programming, screams. Get out of my head. Get out of my head. You're talking to me or your father, Grunts. Either way. You're on the right track, screaming in pain. The worst thing about you, about not knowing your own bar screaming, is, is that you're doomed to repeat it, crying in pain. Who are you? Me? I'm nobody. Help me, help me, Larry. Larry. Is there nobody? Go ahead, Larry. Save the day. What? Then that's what heroes do. But of course, you never were a hero. No wonder you were sent the thing inside you so much, Quentin. Aha! The Jews. Jews X is right on time. The sight of him help is flailing about the free. You're always so stirring. Ah You can think you can thank this glowing baby bird for ending your torture early, but don't forget you're all at my mercy, laughing when this is mystically stomach gurgling, baying, braying loudly, man screaming, woman screaming, voices yelling and tingling. Grass, it sounds as sharply. Vic, you too okay? Not in slightest, Larry. What was that? A warning. Think you, you might, might have saved us, Larry. Door opening, Larry. I don't do it, didn't do anything. Think the thing inside of you for me. Whatever it is. Cliff, what the hell happened? A dog gives the door. What? Dog gives the door. I see. But you did that. I hate you. Well, thank God you got out. I would, I could have told you it was a trap. Oh, good, Jane's back. Cliff, any sign of the chief? Well, you, you know he's alive. You met the bastard and took him. Called himself nobody. Jeff, nobody? That's less than helpful. Good news is he's scared of us. He's scared of us? Yeah, yeah. that's how I know we've got, got we, we're on to something. Why else would we be? They had trap. They make threats and mess with our heads. Scoffs, but that's not, that's not on them. They miss it. That's insecure. In fact, all we need, so is Victor. Door call oh, shuts. Dad? Cliff, someone's in trouble. So much for privacy mode. How on earth? How did you find me? Well, you vanished from the face of the earth. I got a damn notification. What happened? I could tell I to explain. But the science wouldn't, wouldn't hold up, really wouldn't hold up. Where's Niles? Did he talk you into coming here? He's gone, Dad. He's in trouble. Well, whatever he's got himself into, he can figure his way out. He really does. We, we're go- well, he does. All he does. We're going home, Dad. It's not a job for Cybo. This work we're doing is in Detroit. It's important. It means something. I'm going to get you. It's going to get you noticed. Can't want you to big and better things. Even if it doesn't, it means something to me and your mum. Every criminal we bust, every person we save, to is us a, a, a following a pledge to your mum. Doing her proud, that's your burden, Vic. That's what it means to be a cyborg. You should go home and stay here to find Noel's colder. Like hell you are. You, you've been here a day, you're covered in slime, padding about round a punch of inanimate circuit freaks. Vic, 
You get your act together. I'll upgrade you. Turn into a godlike force for good. Scoffs, I need a couple of days to figure this out. I'll check on my schedule. Don't worry about me. I always do. Why? Scoffs, I'm a cyborg, right? Uh, uh, Who's it playing? Door beats, door beats, size. I suppose to thank you, Scoffs, okay? You can do it. Size heavily. You woke up. You wake up. It sells. Oh, oh, sorry. I'm looking for a guest room. Well, this is some hotel. You have to pick up. You have to pick up after yourself. Chip in. I think I can handle that. Guest room is the last room on the right. You did good today, Rita. I know it's hard, but um, just you were a star today. Damn right, you're a star. Music continues. <laughs> 